Hello everyone, in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to write such uh, text which you see on the screen with the uh, outlines which can be uh, just black or uh, colored in fancy ways or handwritten or animated. Um, so let's jump to Blender. I'm using version 2.78c but all the things that you will be seeing now have been there in Blender since a uh, long time ago. Uh, let me just start my key monitor so you can see what what I'm doing with the keyboard and with the mouse. I'm assuming you have some familiarity with Blender uh, so I'm not going to explain every single detail. Uh, press X to delete the initial cube, 7 on the numpad to go to the top view and I want immediately to set the camera aligned to the to the view so that we can see exactly what part of the scene will be rendered and that we, we need to choose uh, our um, render resolution I'm assuming uh, 1080p here and and uh, well that's it for now let's add the text shift A we choose text we press tab to go into edit mode and we can type whatever we want sample text here press tab to exit edit mode um, we can move the text freely like in this way and then like this uh, or um, we go to the F tab let me make it a bit bigger and here we have other options for alignment for instance here we put it to the center okay and we can also choose the font um, I'm not going to use anything fancy just a system font uh, Ubuntu regular here it is and we need to give a material to our text in order to have it colored uh, diffuse this is the color that uh, we need to modify uh, let's have uh, I don't know this pastel red like this or pink yeah it's more pink anyway and uh, we need to enable shadeless this is extremely important to have a uniform uniformly colored text regardless of the lighting so actually we have even a light here but we don't need it we don't need to delete either but uh, given that it's not strictly needed I'll just remove it and press F12 to see our result rendering result okay um, here you see that it's a uh, gray this is not what we want because this means that it will not be transparent but of course if we are going to use this text on top of a movie for example we really want to render uh, transparency where outside of our text uh, so so this is done in the shading tab in the sorry in the properties tab here the shading group alpha we need to set it to transparent let's have another quick look at the rendering f12 and yeah this pattern means that this will actually be transparent okay so how to render an outline here let me just make it a bit bigger like this okay um well one option the one that i'm showing to you is enabling a freestyle well this is already done actually you see it's already here um, now what if you want to have different color or different thickness then you need to go to this tab here render layer tab 
and you will see that there is there are actually a couple well three uh, freestyle related groups um, I never modify the first one so this one is um, contains the logic on where to show the lines uh, the default is usually fine for text at least what is more interesting for us is this third one where we can modify absolutely everything about the text um, so let's start with the thickness well this might be even too much let's try to see what I've done okay well it's not too bad but you can see that here 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 the line is not com complete how it should be and uh, one way to fix that is to go to the strokes tab and enable sketchy chaining and now it's fine you see all the all the corners are how they should be and this is all if you just want to have some simple text or the color of course that was black uh, do we want to have it um, pastel yellow for example yeah well if you like it you can use this one um, then what else I wanted to show you just let me make it a bit thinner otherwise it's not really nice okay this already looks a bit better um, the other thing that we might want to play with with the color is to have like the example that I had in the in the first uh, screen is to have like random colors about around our text um, so it's a matter of using a ramp map here you see that it goes from black to white so it will be just a scale of grays um, if we want to have it colored then we need to pick some colors here let's start with the green and here we end with uh, what blue for example we add a few more let's say no this okay in this one I want yellow bright yellow here what should I pick uh, red I'm just going around this circle and well I wanted to pick oh actually these are not even needed because anyway yellow is the natural uh, how to say merge of green and red so I think yeah it's not as yellow as it was before but it's fine it's fine like this so let's have a quick render so it will just pick a random color uh, random colors uh, along this uh, this uh, line and if you want to have like a smoother or slower transitions between the colors then you can increase the period um, let's try something around 30 render again you see that now the transitions are slower um, let's exaggerate and have 50 okay I like it like this um, and the last thing I wanted to show you is to have how to have uh, this um, handwriting contour around the text so um, it's simpler it's just easier to see if if it's uh, black so let me just use a black color and we need to go to the geometry tab add a modifier 
and it's called uh, where is it spatial noise modifier let's have a quick look at it oh this doesn't look very good does it okay so how can we make it a bit better um, well we you see that it goes quite far from our uh, initial text so the first thing that we can try to do is to reduce the amplitude something around one for example okay so you see it's not let me have normal scale okay it doesn't go too far and octaves uh, this is fine I usually don't change anything here let me check uh, thickness maybe a bit less than that okay it looks like there are more strokes actually drawn maybe I just I will just choose contour I wonder if it has changed something um, yes I think it looks okay like this I'm not convinced yet uh, I have the feeling that it's drawing many lines on top of each other for some reason it wasn't like that before could it be these octaves let's let me set it to one and see what happens. Uh, I cannot see any change here. Well, anyway, it looks fine like this as well. And the scale is how quickly, uh, let's say, how, yeah, how how quickly the curves happen in the text so this is rather smooth as you can see but if you choose a much lower value then it will be more like jagged yes I don't know which one you like more Let, we can just keep it like this and finally how to get this outline to be animated um, well unfortunately even if you have an animation here uh, you will see that nothing will change um, if the object itself doesn't change then blender is trying to be smart and doesn't recompute the outline at every frame so if you want to have it animated then you need to force some changes so one option is for example to set an animation on the text um, so for instance we are at frame one we rotate it a bit press i to add a keyframe on the rotation then we go to frame 30 rotate a bit like this and press i add another keyframe on the rotation and i'm hovering now on the timeline and press e to and at where our cursor is to end the rendering so that it will not it will consist of just 30 frames a very quick animation okay so if we have this then you will see that at every frame our outline will be uh, computed and it will be different every time like it will be like trembling as you saw in the initial uh, in the initial seconds of this video uh, another way uh, so of course the question what if I want my text to tremble if, if it's a static text if I don't want to animate to rotate or anything uh, well in that case let me just remove this animation here um, clear keyframes and reset it to zero how it was before okay in that case uh, well we can animate something else uh, it's a trick but for example this scale here 
uh, what we could animate it press I to if we animate it like uh, with a very slight change it's it will be almost unnoticeable but still it forces blender to recompute um, the outline at every frame because you see that when I'm scrubbing here the value of the scale is changing so that causes blender to recompute it um, okay well then let's see what what we have now um, I want to render our animation you must use PNG and make sure that RGBA is chosen so that it has a uh, transparency uh, as far as I know PNG is the only format which supports transparency so we really need this one and for the output um, I want to render it let me find the location um, do we have any recent Oh, here this is our folder, and um, let me create one more folder where to show our. What? Uh, trembling text, and the files will be called like uh, sequence. Doesn't really matter. They are all in one folder, so and that's it. Press animation. It will take some time. I will be cutting the video now. Okay, the rendering has completed, and let's have a quick look at what it did. Here you see all our images. Uh, open them on an image viewer. I'm just scrolling to them and you see that it's really trembling okay now how to use this text on a movie um, well by the way it's a good time to save our project I will save over this one I would recommend to create to keep this text all the settings here in this scene and create an additional scene inside this blender file choose copy settings so that all these uh, rendering presets are uh, preserved and we call it um, movie we move to the video editing and for some reason this we need to restore Okay, this is our scene. Um, let let me just quickly find some movie as an example. I have here one movie made with Blender, not by me, in case it's not clear. Um, starts about here. I'm just cutting the parts that. These are not interesting. Okay, um, let's rendering it for about 60 seconds. Press E here on the timeline, and we can also cut Shift K and then X delete. Okay, so we have this movie here, just scrubbing through it. Well, this was just the title, but. Um, let's suppose that at this point you want to add our subtitles shift A and you have to add image even though it's it's animated it's still image so we go and open our trembling, trembling text we press A to select all of them of course if you had only one image then it's you just have to pick that one and it will be loaded and uh, it's transparent but we still need to change the blending mode to alpha over okay so let's play it ok 
Okay, beautiful. Let me just remove the sound track. And yeah, that's it. Um, of course, if you know exactly uh, where you're going to put the text in your movie, then you can already in the 3D view, you can move the text to the proper position. Uh, if for some reason you forgot to do so, as I did, um, we can move the strip here, like image offset, and we can Let's put it to the bottom here, for example. All these properties can be animated, so you can uh, make the text appear from one side, or you can change, even the opacity can be oh, animated. For example, at this point, we want to have full opacity. Press I to add a keyframe. And at the beginning of the scene, we want to have it completely transparent so it will fade in okay and that's it one quick note in case you were wondering why do did i render the scene instead of just importing it because here you you actually have the possibility to import a scene here and it's about the same You see the text is there. Uh, the problem with it is that, well, first of all, there is no outline, which is all the point of this video. So it might be that it's possible to fix this with some parameter to have the outline here as well. Um, but even if that was possible, then it would still be extremely slow to render. It's much, much easier if you uh, if you first render to a file and then import the images here. Okay, uh, that's all I wanted to tell you. I hope that this tip will be useful for you and uh, have a nice day and bye bye, see you next time.